Hello, this is Anurag from Warbi Academy. Today is Basant Panchmi, the day of Lord Saraswati, the day of knowledge. And it's an auspicious day to start something new. So I'm very happy to announce the launch of our new indicator for trading view, which is the ORB Impulse Screener. Many of you who have been using the ORB Impulse Hunter, which is plotted on this chart here, had requested that if you could have a screener which could scan the stock list for impulse buys and sells and then throw them on the screen as an alert every candle close. So we have designed a screener for you finally. Uh, this screener is like the ICMC screener which you must be using already which we had uh, launched on 14th of January, Bakar Sankranti Day 2021, another auspicious day. The ICMC screener has been very helpful to you as you have already messaged me, you sent me your feedbacks. So the impulse screener is based on the same lines. It operates in the similar fashion. So all that you have to do is you have to install the screener on the, on the screen, on your chart, and it will start processing data, uh, also giving the history of the various impulses which have happened. So if you see here, I have actually plotted this uh, indicator here on this five minutes chart. This is a nifty five minutes chart. In fact, you can flip, you can put it on any chart. Uh, and if you see here, it is uh, scanned the entire data, the past history also, and it gives you when that impulse has happened in the past also. So let's test uh, the impulse screener on 15th February, that was yesterday. So this is the beginning of 15 February and let me see the history where it where the first impulse came in. So we have an impulse here at 10 a.m. for DV's lab. So I will now open DV's lab here and we will verify whether this impulse actually happened on DV's lab. I use uh, the premium version of trading view so I'm able to open multiple charts. In case you're using the free version of uh, trading view this indicator will also work on the free version. So here if you see we got a we got an alert for DV's lab which was uh, at 10 a.m. So I've got DV's lab here and if you see here there's an impulse by a DV's lab at 10 a.m. So this matches the screener. Okay now let's let's again let's go further and here I see that there's also an impulse sell on DV's lab at 1.25 p.m. So did we get this alert here? Let's have a look. So at 1.25 5 p.m. we had got an alert for DV's lab sell also. So the impulse screener seems to be working good. But let us search for some other stocks. So we go forward and then uh, there's a MM buy, Mahindra and Mahindra buy at 10.15 a.m. So let's look for Mahindra and Mahindra here. This is Mahindra and Mahindra. 10.15 a.m. we are looking for an impulse. We have an impulse here which is at 10.15 a.m. Similarly, there was an impulse cell generated here which was at 2.55 p.m. So let's cross check here, 2.55, 2.55 p.m., 2.50, 2.55, 2.55 if you see we have got a mm cell also here. So we see that the impulse uh, screener is working fine. Now let's uh, look into the features of the screener, the setup of the screener. So if I go to the setup option here, uh, there are a few setup uh, thing details uh, which are given here. I'll explain them one by one. So you can merge this uh, impulse screener with the condition of giving impulses only if the previous day high or low is broken. If I enable this, I will only get those alerts where during the time of impulse, it is also breaking or it's, it is also above the previous day high or the previous day low depending on what the condition is. Similarly, uh, if you want to enable the Binet screener, so you can enable this and it will also give you the Binet breakouts uh, along with the impulse breakouts. And of course, you can define the zigzags here. And uh, this is the list of stocks which it will process. So this is a definable list. You can change this list as, as per your requirement. I have got some 38 uh, stocks here. This is the maximum I can include here because there is a limitation of trading view. So 
if you want you can actually change these stocks to suit your requirement so that's all that is required in the stress setup once you have that uh, decided uh, all that you have to do is that uh, as as and when the screener runs it will start giving you alerts and this is the place where it will show you the latest formations are happening uh, for the impulses for various time frames i want to also show you that we have included an alert condition here so whenever whenever an impulse will get generated you will automatically get an alert on the screen as well as on your on your trading view app about the various impulses which have triggered so how to create this alert it is very simple all that you have to go is go to the alert option here and then you create a new alert as soon as you open this it will show you various options or various uh, indicators which are installed so all that you have to do is you choose the impulse screener indicator here and then there is already an alert option which is enabled here and of course uh, you can define your uh, conditions here keep it open ended so that uh, it keeps triggering whenever there is an alert happening whenever there is a condition being met and here in the alert name here you can all that you can do is you can uh, select this whole thing and you can delete it and you can put a, a new tab which is uh, maybe you can just use orb impulse alert okay just make this change and create this so now when i'm creating is always remember this gets created on the 5 minutes time frame now i'll show you something very interesting where you can simultaneously check two time frames even though uh, there is only one chart which you are using i'll just show you it's very interesting so let's create this so we create this alert and then at the moment we create this alert you will uh, get a confirmation that uh, this alert has been created here there is an alert which is which is created here okay and now what happens is once you have created this particular alert the trading view stage saves this particular data on the server so now even if in the chart even if this indicator is not there on the chart this particular alert will still function so that allows us to do something very interesting since i have already defined a 5 minutes alert here what i can actually do is i can change this chart to 15 minutes now and the moment i change this chart to 15 minutes my screener starts processing the impulse happening on the 15 minutes so what happens now is that the impulse happening on the 15 minutes i'll be shown the various triggers here while the alert which i've already created for 5 minutes also keeps running simultaneously that means you are able to concurrently have alerts from two time frames so make use of this so i hope you find this uh, video interesting and uh, this indicator will be very very useful for you uh, i would suggest that uh, you go for this immediately and of course uh, i have shared the link for this indicator and it's an auspicious day so make your bookings all the best take care happy minting